Welcome to Random Man's new state-of-the-art denoiser, developed by the talented folks over at Disney Research and has been in use at Pixar since Toy Story 4, as well as Industrial Light and & Magic and Walt Disney Animation Studios, and has allowed their productions to dramatically reduce their render times. Harnessing the power of machine learning, the new denoiser in Random Man 25 allows artists and studios to render with less samples and letting the denoiser do the heavy lifting of going from a grainy render to a final frame, preserving complex and beautiful intricate details. Trained on a broad range of production data sets from Industrial Light and & Magic, Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios, you too now have the same incredible denoising power. So lower your samples, increase your variance and watch in wonder as RenderMan's denoiser works its magic. So let me show you just how incredible the new denoiser is and for this example we're going to use the new Solaris USD RenderMan Digital Studio scene which you can download yourself from the RenderMan Solaris docs and let's see how low we can go with those samples. So let's kick it off by rendering the image at 128 samples and this is how it looks when run through the amazing denoiser. And now let's try that again at 64 samples. And this is how it looks when denoised. And this is rendered at 32 samples. And you can see that in the denoise image, we're still retaining that fidelity and detail. But surely you're saying to yourselves, we can't go any lower. Well, let's have a look at 16 samples. And this is it denoised. And then here's a render at eight samples. And look how much grain is still in the image. But wait, here's the incredible denoised version. And if you're not convinced by now, just to show off, let's render an image at four samples and surely it can't clean up this image. Well, have a look at this. And I think you'll agree, the new denoiser in RenderMan 25 is simply incredible. So come on, feel the noise. <laughs>